We're going to get started with about a pound of white tail and we're going to make us a meatloaf and I'm going to put it in the microwave and it'll be done quickly and so good. I have two pieces of whole wheat toast. I made toast. I'm just going to sprinkle some milk across them just to wet them up a bit. I already put salt and pepper in here just to your taste. I've chopped some garlic so that'll be going in there next. Okay we have the breadcrumbs soaked in milk, a little bit of milk, uh, garlic, salt and pepper, and our white tailed deer. We're going to throw in some cheese just for grin. Here's some Romano cheese. And. Okay, so we pour in a um, half a can of the uh, tomato sauce. And then, of course, we have to put a pile of onions in there. So I'm putting in one half of a large chopped onion. All right, there's our onion. And it's chopped up. Yes, I do like big hunks of onion. And then we'll mix all that up and put it in our dish. I love big chunks of onion because when you bite into them they're really juicy and a lot of flavor because onions cook sweet. So I stirred that up and now it's going to go into my little baker. Okay it's in the baker and now I'm going to put ketchup all over it and I leave a little ring around it sort of tuck it under a little if there's you know, any, well, there's no fat in this, so good God. We'll just see what happens. Cover it with ketchup, just like icing a cake. I love it. This is the icing for a meatloaf. This is my deep dish baker. Have the lid on. Have the meatloaf in. I'm going to go for 12 minutes. And if it needs any more, I'll just give it like three minutes at a time. 12 ought to do it. This is the deep dish baker I use when I want to do a meatloaf and it does the really large meatloaf and they also make a smaller one for the little one I'm going to make today and I got this from Pampered Chef. Um, it's really nice. It just does a great job on chicken or anything that you want to microwave. If you decide to use a loaf pan or a frying pan. This is the little pan that has the insert. Um, your meatloaf would be at 350 for maybe half hour, 45 minutes. So either way, very good. Also in a in a cast iron skillet, very good. Can't beat a meatloaf. Okay, let's see what this looks like after 12 minutes. It's done. Meatloaf in 12 minutes. There you go. White tail venison meatloaf. 12 minutes later. Very good stuff.